Hello everybody, it is Purple Nova and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is episode 83 on the series and in today's episode, we're going to be backtracking a little bit. We're going to be going and cleaning up one of our factories. Well, basically making sure that it works. Our Probably our newest factory, I believe that we created, I think episode 79 and 80 or 80, 81, whichever one. Uh, maybe all three of those. I don't know. Uh, we need to basically bring more copper sheets and iron rods to that factory because we do not produce enough, which I was afraid of happening. So today we're basically going to be filling in where uh, our other factories are lacking. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so we are here in bushes. Yes, as as one does. Um, now we're actually next to a some iron deposits and a copper deposit somewhere. Around? Yeah, there is copper deposit. Um, and we're just gonna just put some mines on them, put some factories to them, and then give them, bring them to our base because we're lacking iron rods and copper sheets, which is unfortunate. You thought I know I, I you would one would think that we'd be producing enough, but we aren't. Two most simplest things we're not producing enough of. So let's quick put um, a mine on our copper. I don't get it. So the intro, it was so bright in my face. The sun was just directly into my eyes. I don't know if you noticed that. But now, no, it's fine. Now, like 30 seconds after intro, it's fine. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So we produce 120 copper sheets. Uh, how many constructors we need? Oh, how much do you produce? I know I can look it up, but I like doing it this way. Copper sheets. We need 20 copper ingots to produce 10. So, I'm guessing copper ingots are just, yeah, 30 for 30, so one for one. So we need six, um, this is going to look really bad. Not really, I really don't mind. Six, uh, six smelters, so we're just going to one, two, three. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't, this is going to be so weird. Four, five, six. And then these are all gonna have their own constructors. Which we're just going to do one, two, three, <laughs> so Jake. four, five, and six. Yeah. There we go. Look at this. The beauty of a factory that we're creating right now. So, copper sheets, and we'll make all these copper sheets. So, why are we doing this? Well, we need a bunch of cooling systems. I don't know if you can see in the top right, but I wanted to do the next milestone today, the final milestone, but we need cooling systems and uh, fused modular frames and turbo engines and uh, control rods, which are all very very tedious things very expensive things to have and i'm not worried about the control rods or turbo motors because well i think we produce enough or i think we the turbo motors we can just produce i'm not worried about those but the and the control rods we can produce but the cooling system and fuse modular frames those those are the problem and our factory's not running like, barely at all because we barely create any cover sheets i realize we only have one copper sheet factory like that's that's all we have so and i know i could have went and grabbed copper from our actual actual copper ingot storage facility but that'd be too easy we don't we don't do easy here what are you talking about so instead we're just going to come over here and uh have a little fun this way go back to our glory days of not knowing what the heck we're doing and being okay with it I hope this works. Hope that's enough. This is gonna be a really, really bad uh, conveyor belt system too. You know, who cares? Who knows? Yeah, you know. It's it'll be fine. Oh, that does connect. Heck yeah. Do you also connect? Oh my, never mind. This is gonna be gorgeous. So also, the day of recording this, which is the day before this goes up, uh, it's, it was a solar eclipse, or at least. Yeah, the solar eclipse happened today here in America. And uh, if you are in America and you got to see it, well, I hope you got to see it if you were in kind of the path that it took. Uh, I was in a partial eclipse is where 
where I'm at. That's all we got is a partial eclipse, which is still pretty cool. I think we're like 80% uh, coverage. So still pretty a decent amount. It got it got dim outside. That's the it's actually the second time I've seen a partial eclipse. Um, I've yet to see a full eclipse. I've, I've been really damn close to the full eclipse, but I've never actually seen the full eclipse. Only well, just seen the uh, partial eclipse. So one day, one day we'll see a full eclipse. That's, that's on my bucket list. Um, yeah, yeah, but but I got to see a partial eclipse, which is pretty cool. And if you got to see it, what did you think of it? Was it overwhelming, underwhelming? Was it so unbelievably awesome that you just you were speechless? You didn't know what to say? Just like, wow, this is awesome. Or was it like, eh? Moon, sun, moon, go to sun. Mm, that's it. That is all. That's, that's all it is. I was thinking about it last night. I was like, really, the solar eclipse is just we like right place, right time, in terms of the moon on its path, the Earth on its path, around the sun, and it just so happens to all connect or to all line up at a nice moment in time and we're just here to witness it i don't know how often solar eclipses happen so anyone knows let me know before i look it up so i really want to look it up but I'm a little too lazy to do that it's kind of happened pretty often i think maybe i don't know we'll figure it out all right so we produce what was it 60 copper sheets now per minute this is 120 to 120 to 60 it's hopefully 60 copper sheets a minute this is fine enough and we're putting them on mark 5 conveyor belts so yeah fun stuff so next up is our iron and an auto save beautiful we got we got quite a bit of iron notes here this is normal i believe these are all just normal iron nodes right yeah so 120 and let's see what do we need iron rods 15 for 15 so i think we'll produce 120 iron rods per minute if i remember correctly i think a smelter it's a one-to-one -one. yeah it's another one-to-one -one. so six smelters and six instructors again i think that's all we need i don't think we need any more copper nodes i don't think we need to tap anymore who knows? So let's get this compare splitter. We're going to split. And then we're going to split. And then we're going to split. Then we need some smelters. Which is always fun. I love smelting things. So one. Yeah, two, three. Wow, I made this one really far away. Oh well. Four, five, and six. Again, I really don't care. <laughs> I just want to get to our final factory, which is what this is all planning for. Which, in terms of the final factory, I, I'm i debating not even really using much of our other factories, which sounds really weird because that's like the whole point of this game. But I don't know. I just, the way our storage system works with the whole trucks and tractors and the inconsistency in those, I'm really just not a fan. Um, you are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Am I? Because I don't know where you are. Um, so I didn't actually find you. I don't. I hate this. I hate it when she's just in my ear the whole entire time. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, Final Factory. Yeah, I, I just, um, I don't know. I'm contemplating it. I think I'll, it'll be a hybrid. So we'll like take and stuff and take from factories. I know our limestone factory, we're gonna be fine. Or like our uh, first, our concrete will be golden. That factory is probably at max capacity by now. I would hope. It's been hours. It's been days that that factory or that, that storage facility has been gathering resources but hopefully that's fine um 
In terms of our other stuff, I don't really know. Uh, I'm a bit skeptical on it for how much we'll probably need for our final factory. But we'll have to see. Again, I think I'll supplement it. Um, but we won't solely the ro rely on our storage facilities. Uh, which is unfortunate. Because I really liked them. I really liked making them. They were fun. And if they were just solely because based off of trains, then we'd be golden. If it was... Like, if the transportation was trains, only trains, then I would be okay with it. But it's not just trains. Or it's not it's not trains at all. It's really tractors and cars. Which I think our problem with that was... Uh, I'm gonna line this up here. Was we just had too many. And some of the tractors... Or some of the trucks. No, both. Some of the trucks and tractors were just not. Um, Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien no artifacts. No way. That's crazy. Uh, some of the tractors and trucks just weren't taking in fuel. Like they'd go past fuel stations just didn't just didn't pick up any which was really frustrating um, and I actually I don't know if I have fixed it yet I've tried fixing it at oh, very frustrating for most of the time um, yeah anyway we're just going to connect these actually I want to let's merge these I don't, we produce, we don't produce 720. Let's do another merger. No, it's not fun with this. Um, but like our, so like for our silica and rubber, our silica and plastic, I've had so much, so many problems with those trucks that take in those resources. It's been ridiculous. Like, they just don't receive food. Wow, I must have hit that. Jeez. Did I say food? They don't receive... Jeez. I'm eating cake on the side. I don't think that's what I'm referencing. They just don't take in their resources. Or they, they don't take in fuel. Um, so it's been a royal pain to try and uh, get those working. I think I got the silica working but not the uh not the plastic and there's always uh there's a crap ton of deadlocks that have been occurring like i just get the notification at least once a recording i think excuse me do you mind i don't think you do are you gonna run towards me How's that going to work out? Oh, you're running closer. Hi. Yes, welcome. There we go. You hit me. How dare you? So anyway, that's why I'm very much debating having... relying solely on... those storage units for my stuff. It's just not good. Anyway, we're pretty much almost connecting this to our base. Uh, this is going to be a really jank connection, which, uh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, can I actually put it on the wall? I can. Woo, heck yeah. Oh, that's fun. That's awesome. So, where do you come in at? We're going to make you come in here. The wall, we're going to do wall mount let's put our door here too i don't have a door yet to this place i'm gonna put it there oh why 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 through the wall why was that Ugh. this is so much harder i have a hover thing and it did it again will my hover thing work do i even have it on me I don't even have it on me. 
What is this? What am I doing? Jeez. Anyway, let's connect this. Oh, finally, just go inside and connect it. There. So then we will. Producing more iron rods than copper sheets. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. We'll just use a uh, smart splitter. Go there. Uh, we will pull this in. We'll do left for um, iron rods, right for copper sheets. Let's do middle iron rods. And then left is going to be overflow. Hey, that worked. So for overflow, wow, I didn't even, I, okay. We're just going to go into there because that's our overflow uh, part. And what are, do you hold? You hold copper sheets. Copper sheets in the middle. Copper sheets are right. Okay, good. And go up. And then iron rods. I don't know which one's iron rods. Iron rods. Okay. Ah, ah. You're gonna go up and in. Awesome. That should hopefully work now. Um, the reason these have it is because I went and picked up. I went to the factories that hold iron rods and copper sheets and grabbed everything that I could. And also for my own storage. So, depleting all of my copper sheets and iron rods for this. Which is fine. Why are, why, what's going on here? Why does everything seem to be at a halt? What are we missing? I don't think we're missing anything. Uh! Modular frames. What are all these? Are these not existing? These don't exist? How many do we need? We need 10 per minute. Ooh, I don't know if we produce 10 per minute. That'll be, that'll be, we'll go over to our modular frame factory in between episodes and fix that. But I just wanted to fix this. So all we need to do now is bring power. Do we have a power pull out here? We do. So we just need to bring power to our, uh, Factory's down here. Oh, we good to go. At least I believe. I think I did everything. I was talking the whole time. So who knows? Just do like a big power tower. What's the fun in now? I don't, what's the fun in a power tower? It's easy. It's simple. Where's the challenge? In all honesty. Oh, come on. You <laughs> gotta give me some challenge. As I struggle with this. <sighs> this whole thing. Anyway. Uh, I don't even like quick wire, which is fun. So it looks like we're just doing Mark 1s. Great. So excited. I'm just gonna go there, to there, to there, to there. And you're gonna go. Oh boy, oh boy, is this gonna be fun. So you go in one, two, three, and that one's full. And we can't do anything more with it. It's it's great. I love I love Mark 1 power pools. Aren't they just the most fun? Anyone that plays this game? Are they the most fun? Oh also, if you if you play satisfactory, let me know. Tell me tell me you do. Because I uh I'm curious on who all here actually plays this game. Um, and who all of you are just watching it to watch it? And who all are playing it? And stuff, if that makes any sense. Which I don't know if it does. Okay, is that everything power? That should be everything power. I think we can now bring power to our other area, which we should have enough resources for that. Let's see. 
One other. One other. One, one. The one, the one. Don't go for the one. Don't go for the one. For the one, for the one. The one, the one. Don't go for the one. Don't go for the one. For the one, for the one. Anybody know that song? If you do, brownie points for you. This, I think, is an amazing song. And. Yeah, it, it is an amazing song. So, what are you gonna do about it? You know? Okay, so I think all we need is powerful there, powerful there. One, two, three, and one, two, and three. And that should be copper sheets being produced. That should be, what, how many copper sheets? What do we say? That should be like 60 copper sheets per minute. And then 120 iron rods per minute. Right? Are you not, why are you not on? What's going on here? Why do we have no power? Why are you connected to power, but none of, oh. Well, that would explain it. I didn't actually tell it what to do. Damn. Iron ingot. Uh, leaves. Iron ingot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron ingot. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you want to know to what you need to do. Iron. 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 Your clothes. There. Now we're using iron rods. Are you happy now, game? Is this what you wanted? Oh my gosh. I think I wonder how quickly we can get there. Meow. Oh, with an owl safe. Wonderful. Oh, oh, you didn't want to go fast at all. Alright, so, yeah. Copper sheets, iron rods, more copper sheets, more iron rods. We like to see. Oh, they're making their way up. And in. And that should be this factory. Back up and running. Um, that'll probably be it for this episode. Uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. So that way, next episode, we can unlock our final tier to this whole game, which is incredible to think about. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my babbling about solar eclipses and. Who knows what? Uh, yeah, we will see you all in the next one. Bye.